think of an economic trinity, and what do we mean by economic trinity? Ec economic trinity over against, what's the other distinction? We have the ontological trinity, which is the trinity in himself and his eternal substance and personal relations. And then we have the economic trinity, which has to do with the different roles that they take on themselves in redemption. Right? So, ontologically, the three persons are the same in substance and equal in power and glory. Period. No inferiority or superiority of nature in them. But is there a different economy of their operations relative to history and the work of redemption? Yes, there is. How do we summarize that? What's the Father's particular role in redemption? What do we assign to Him preeminently? Election, right? The eternal plan of God, the counsel of God, right? Now, does that mean that only the Father does that and the other two aren't involved? No, the three are one, right? We just speak of what preeminently is ascribed to each. What's the Son? What's His role? What's that? Salvation. That's right. He accomplishes salvation. He becomes incarnate. He dies on the cross. He rises again from the dead. He remains as our high priest in heaven and our mediator. The Father doesn't become incarnate, and the Spirit doesn't become incarnate. The Son does. And what's the Holy Spirit do preeminently? Preeminently. 